is on NASA's first mission to collect samples from an asteroid. Well, those samples will then be brought back to Earth in a bid to find out more about the origins of life. Well, the seven-year, $1 billion mission will take the Osiris Rex explorer to and from the near-Earth asteroid Bennu, an asteroid scientists believe is covered with organic compounds dating back to the earliest days of the solar system. What will happen when the samples come back will be decades of study. And that's what's really exciting about it, the ability to hang on to those pristine materials, pose questions and go to them and have them answer them for us through the analysis tools we have. It's really quite a milestone. Well, for more on this mission, I'm joined live from London by David Brown, a research fellow in astrophysics at Warwick University. Thank you so much for speaking to us here at France 24 uh, this morning. Uh, first of all, can I get your reaction? Just how exciting would you say this project is? I think it's very exciting indeed. Uh, there have been missions to asteroids before, but it's a very small number, and the amount of research and the amount of understanding we have of, of these bodies is really quite small. So any mission to get uh, material directly from an asteroid and bring it back to Earth where we can study it properly is incredibly exciting. Well, we, we, we saw how captivated people were with the uh, European Space Agency's Philae Lander uh, project. This is, uh, is this project in any way similar? There are a few similarities um, in as much as it, the satellite will be making a close approach to a, a body going around the sun um, and then taking pictures and measuring that object, surveying that object while it's there. But there the similarities really end. OSIRIS-REx won't actually be touching down on Bennu. Um, it will just be coming very close, um, unlike Philae. Um, and then it will be bringing material back. And of course, we know that Philae never managed to uh, to send most of its information back to us. Which is very sad indeed. Uh, let's, let's focus on uh, this mission here. Uh, assuming it's successful, uh, what are you hoping we'll discover? There's a few different things we can find out from this. Um, as the, the report mentioned, we're hoping to find organic material on, on this asteroid. Um, it's thought that asteroids and comets are one way that organic material, amino acids, carbon compounds have, might have been brought to the Earth um, in the distant past. And so we're hoping to find some of these on the surface of the asteroid and learn more about how they survive in space um, and how they could be delivered by asteroids. Um, we're also hoping to find out about the effects of sunlight on the orbits of asteroids. Um, there are many asteroids out there that come very close to the Earth, um, but their orbits can be shifted slightly by the effect of sunlight pushing on the asteroid. Um, and so OSIRIS-REx is hoping to investigate that effect and find out how big or how small it is so that we get a better understanding of asteroids and their close approach to the Earth. Well, you, you mentioned asteroids uh, approaching Earth rather closely. Is this research in any way going to help uh, prevent uh, the uh, apocalyptic scenario of an asteroid attack? Uh, yes, it should do. Um, by understanding this, this effect of sunlight, um, we can study how we could enhance it or reduce it um, on asteroids that may potentially impact the Earth so that we can then affect their orbit in the way that we want to um, and try and prevent that kind of event.